Welcome to your Love Empowerment Hour. You are now sitting with the Suttons. And we are your hosts, Tristan and Cece. And we are just really excited to have you guys join us on this yes. journey to making marriage great again. Indeed, indeed. T, how's your week been? Ooh, hectic. <laughs> But we made it. <laughs> mama, we made it. Mama, we made We're almost there to this Friday, and we're looking forward to a great Friday. We hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. We hope that you popped all the fireworks you could pop and eat all the barbecue you could eat. Mm -hmm. But tonight, is you grilling ready. or is you barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> we saw that post. That was hilarious when somebody, yeah, you always got to thank Birdman for his antics. But um, tonight, we're going to give you some food to chew on here a little bit more. Um, mm. I like this topic. Yes. Because this it, it right here, he this did I come up with Congratulations. <laughs> every now and then Tristan has some great topics, and every now and then I have some too. But this one is so necessary because when it all comes down to it, a lot of us are spending a lot more time planning for a wedding, mm -hmm. looking for a boo, mm -hmm. planning for a honeymoon. But we are not spending hardly any time on becoming ring worthy. Are you worthy? Are you worthy? What does it mean to become ring worthy? We're going to talk about that tonight with our very special guest, this beautiful couple to my left, Mr. Lyndon Taylor and his beautiful bride, Isis Taylor. Um, let's share a little bit about their background here, T. And if you're listening and you want to see how beautiful they are, go to Facebook.com <laughs> forward slash Tristan and CC. So we have authors Lyndon and Isis Taylor. Uh, while a young couple in years, they share strong and traditional values that begin with a, begin with a solid foundation. Although they knew of each other for years, it wasn't until they realized that there was a mutual love of self-help and spiritual readings that caught their eyes for each other. Today, having recently celebrated one year of marriage, congratulations, <laughs> the Taylors continue to strive for a love that is servant-driven, communication that is open and honest, as well as friendship that is genuine and true. Landon currently serves as the Assistant Director for the City of Houston Department of Neighborhoods, and ISIS serves as an educator within the Alvin Independent School District. They both enjoy dancing, painting, and writing with each other, using these activities not only to keep their love exciting, but also to use these activities as an expression and a source for quality time. Together, they co-authored a book entitled The Manual, Lessons of Love. Yes, Let's indeed. welcome our special Let's guest welcome. again. We're really excited to have you guys because, thank you, um, <laughs> thank you for the hand clap Love over the there. Sound effects, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be forgetting about those sound effects. But um, I had the opportunity to sit on a panel with Landon last year, I believe it yeah, was, absolutely. at Queen Life Sip and Share. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew when we thought of this topic, I immediately thought of Landon because, you know, oftentimes we hear the female perspective all the time yeah. about trying to get ready for my husband yeah. and where is he at? Oh my gosh. But what I liked about Landon is Landon came from a very real <clears> perspective. And I believe at that time you were recently coming out of a marriage at that point in time correct so he was sharing very candidly what it was like um, going through that phase and then becoming ring worthy again mm -hmm. so what I wanted to understand from that point of view can you share with the people who are you know single right now and they're looking how how can I go about preparing myself what did you do during your single years to prepare yourself to become a ring worthy very quick Great question. One of the things that I had to do, uh, which is a chapter in our book, which is take out the trash. Mm. Uh, so many of us um, indulge in things that are just not healthy for us. Yeah. Um, and just like how certain foods, you, you cook them and you put all of your heart into them, mm -hmm. over time, they tend to spoil. Yeah. Mm. And the same thing with people, right? Um, and eventually, um, if you keep that same food out, just like if you keep those same people there, you will get sick. Mm. Um, and you know, nowadays it can be health. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but for many people, it's, it's mentally, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what I had to do was I had to take in some really good things. I had to take out some of those things that were really bringing me down. Yeah. Um, and, and that was social media. Mm -hmm. uh, that was media. Some of the things that are on TV right now, mm -hmm. you know, you just take all of that stuff in. Mm -hmm. um, and I had to get rid of some of those things mm -hmm. um, because I, I think the story that you enjoyed was, uh, when I was so down and out, I was sitting on my couch in my underwear, <laughs> eating beans out the can, watching Golden Girls wow. cry. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, and, like I, that. and a lot of women think that men don't have feelings, but we do. You know, men have emotion. It's, it's delayed emotion. And, and you know, um, I believe, uh, Trisha, you said in the show before that, you know, we're taught to, you know, throw some dirt on it. Yeah, just you know, throw some cover up. some dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that hurts so many men. Hmm. And we tend to pin up that frustration. And that's what happened to me. So there came a day where I just said I had it. Um, and that was the day that totally changed my life. I began to do some spiritual development, some personal development. 
And from there, I knew that I wanted to become the person that I would hate to lose. Mm. Um, and that is how you become ring worthy. That's good. You got to drop the you mic on that one. That you got to drop the mic sound effect. Man, that's, that's good. Is that fair to say that you weren't that person before? I wasn't. And, and I do have an acronym for how not to be ring worthy. Oh, let's hear mm. it. Keep it one. You know, uh, see, the first time that I was in that marriage, mm -hmm. I was rushing. Mm. Right? I was rushing, definitely, um, because I thought that, you know, I'm at a certain age, I needed to be mm. a certain way. Right. right? Um, I was ignorant to the fact of what love really was and who I was. Mm. Mm. Um, I was negligent in my thoughts and my actions, and I was just plain gullible. And that goes back to taking in some of those things that I needed to take out of my life. Wow. That's good. So the R, tell us again, run that past us again, how not to be ring worthy. You rush. You rush. Mm. What was our I? You can be irresponsible or you can be... Um, you know, um, for me, I was irresponsible and I was um, what did I just incomplete. Say? Incomplete. Yeah, I just did that off the dome. But that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Um, the N, I was negligent, mm -hmm. and the G, I was gullible. Gullible. Mm. Hmm. You don't hear too many men admit that they were gullible about situations, but like you said, men have feelings too. We're not trying. Y'all not, not trying, trying to be gullible. No. Y'all trying gullible to be gullible or emotional. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but he was in that space, and now that you're able to readily recognize that. You can start helping other people who are in that same space that don't even recognize that they're in that space. That's right. So keep it 100. To, keep, to take the trash out, to keep a brother, the brothers listening out there from being on the sofa in their drawers, mm -hmm. watching Blanche Devereaux mm -hmm. and them, <laughs> what, what are some of the key pieces of trash we need to remove for our lives? And they were family dollar drawers, by the way. <laughs> family dollar. Uh, yeah, oh, you yeah. know they had the thread. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kind of with elastic, you know. Yeah. You know. Please say they want whitey tighty. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, man. man. I had all oh. oh. Superman. Right? It, was a, it was a dark place. It was yeah. a dark, dark, dark place. Yeah. Dark place. Dark place. Uh, you know, a lot of men try to go for the women that we know right. aren't truly good for us. Um, and just like a lot of women, man, we men go for temporary fillers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was one of them, man. You, you can go for the quick fixes. You can go for women that you know will say yes to whatever. You know, if it, and not just sex. It's it's women who will just spend time with you, yeah. just take your mind off things, yeah. right? Um, Distractions, so, right? And um, you know, for me, it was I had to be intentional about what I really wanted, mm. um, and that came after the when I wasted a whole lot of money on people mm. that I, yeah. I didn't need to. Um, you know, part of the fact was that I just got broke. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, while it will dictate a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and and hey, man, you know, God does that sometimes. He he just takes everything from under your feet, and you just have to look up. Wow, that's good. So some of it was just that was the circumstance, and then it sounded like you chose to decide. You know what? I'm not gonna do it like this anymore. Right. You disciplined yourself enough to say, you know, if I want what I know that I need, I have to start cutting off some of these things, and that's hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard for women and men. It's very hard. But no. <laughs> we'll talk about how hard that is in a minute. Yeah. But um, I commend you for being able to say, you know what, that's something that I don't want to do. I know if I continue to do the same actions, I'm going to keep getting the same mm -hmm. thing. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Isis. What did your journey look like? How did you spend your time preparing to become ring worthy? Whew. That's a good question, too, because um, when I met my now husband, I was <laughs> in a very transitional phase of my life. It was really complicated season and I told myself that the next person that I'm with I want him to be my husband I mm. want him to to really see me naked mm. you know like mm. everything about me I want him to know there was a level of transparency but um I, when I met him um I was just in awe like you know I just thought like man this is the the male version of me mm. um but at the same time, I knew that because of the season that, of life that I was in, I wasn't ready to receive him. Mm -hmm. um, and it took discipline on my end, too, because I really, really wanted to establish a relationship with him. And he was persistent. and He was, he was trying. And mm -hmm. um, I had to put myself first. Mm -hmm. And that's how I knew I was ready. When I, when I actually did move forward, I was ready because I, I told myself, okay, well, I need time to think about what it means to be a wife. Right. What it means to be, you know, in a, in an intentional relationship, um, dating to 
be married, dating with a purpose. And so a lot of my time, I did, I spent, I slept on my couch. Mm. I didn't sleep in my drawers, but, you know, <laughs> so you are, I slept you in my couch. You know, I, I didn't. beans and Vicky C's. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a little difficult for me. I mean, you know, it, I didn't know how to be by myself, and I wanted to learn how to do that before I decided to jump from the frying pan to the skillet, you know. Mm. So I decided that, you know, while I really, really wanted him, I had to put myself first. And wow. It was meant to be. He was going to be there, and he was. And it was just crazy because um, we call it the, the flood is what brought us together. Yes, um, indeed. May 25th. Yes. Oh, <laughs> um, it was a really big flood, and we, we just instantly connected. And I was like, please let this be the right time. And we didn't even talk about it. It just kind of happened. So I knew That's that, it, you know, it was, it was my time because I knew that I was able to put invest that time in me. You know, nobody can love you better than you can love yourself. And I had to realize that I couldn't expect him to love me more than I love myself. So I had to practice that before I, you know. So, so let's, let's walk this through. So mm-hmm. you see this, you know, this nice looking something right here. And you say, you know, whew, I like that. Yeah. Oh, but I need to hold up. What made you say, ah, let me back up here. I need to get me ready. Like, how come you didn't just go straight forward? I'm sure he was ready for you. What, mm-hmm. what yeah, happened? well, because I was just getting out of a relationship. Okay. And so I didn't want to jump out of one and get into another, even though I felt it to be different. Okay. And we had a really, really great connection. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I, I kept telling myself, before we got into something serious, I really wanted to make sure that it was right. So right. I had you to know, discipline myself. It was hard. What's very important is you have to make sure that you're whole before you enter into a relationship right. because, you know, you can't go into something 50-50 and one person's 25 50, you yeah. know, you got to have that, like counting, everything has to balance out. That's, that's so right. it's important to know yourself, and that's how you know if you're ring worthy. That's really good. Um, if you're just tuning in, you're sitting with the Suttons. We're talking about getting yourselves ready to have a ring, to be ring worthy. What does that mean? And in a minute here, we're going to come back, and we're going to talk some more about this with Isis and Landon Taylor. Please stick around, like, share, and follow Tristan and Cece on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to call in. We'd love to hear from you tonight. 832-230-5592. We'll be right back. You're listening to Kind Radio. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hi, my name is Tiffany Smith, and I'm a certified spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. But more importantly, I am a wife and a mother. I am so excited to begin the next chapter of my journey, my new radio talk show, The Journey with Tiffany Smith, on KYND 1520 AM. That's right, Tribe. You can tune in every Monday from 1 to 2 p.m. starting July 24. My new show will include conversations about manifesting your dreams, celebrity interviews, and also I've created some new tools to support you in changing your life. If you're ready to change your life, baby, you got to change your mind. Join the journey with Tiffany Smith, and let's talk about it. It's an actress, radio host, and mother. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself, come on now, uh, Marcus D. Wiley, and AV. We are back together. 
full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Everywhere. The powerful 1520. Hey, welcome back to your Love Empowerment Hour. You are sitting with the Suttons, where we're your hosts, Cece and Tristan. T-Sut. And tonight we're talking about becoming ring worthy. Mm. We invite you in on the conversation on Facebook, on Instagram at Tristan and Cece. Tonight we want to say hello to real quickly here, Yolanda. We see you out there, Yolanda Perry. Mm. Barbara Henderson, thanks for always tuning in. Stacy Brown, your boy Carl is out there. Indeed, Marcus Bowers, Anita Thomas, Kyra Hardwick. Thank y'all. Yes, and Jamika, we see you out there as well. Mark Avery. So it's a great night to be talking about love and how are we going to go about getting ready for love, most like importantly. You should have put a ring on it. Oh, Lord. Tristan always got a song <laughs> oh, in his spirit. You hated that song? You hated it too? No, I have a, always have a song in oh. my spirit. <laughs> 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 I'm always singing the anthem. Song. That was why our brothers was rushing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Talk about all y'all need to hear. Diamonds went up. You should have invested in diamonds. At that time. You're right. It's so right. silly. We're back here with Landon and Isis Taylor, and again, we are talking about becoming ring worthy. Um, before we left, Landon and Isis were sharing their story of where they were before they met each other, the space that they were in, and um, I wanted to ask Landon another question. Why do you think that people don't spend more time working on becoming ring worthy? Hmm. It's not what they see in the media. It's not what's popular, right? right. Um, again, you know, people see bad girls clubs and different things, yeah. and they think that that's how you have to be. And, you know, I, they're being unrealistic. Hey, I can yeah. go find this rich guy, or, yeah. you know, I can find a girl who has 217,000 followers and mm. shows all of this, and, you know, she's going to be a wife. Because yeah. she does it for the gram. But, you know, <laughs> she does it for the gram, she'll do it for me. Mm. Um, but, <laughs> Mm. But you know, is that real? Is that a bit of how your brain is functioning these days? Is that how but it's see, that's possible? the problem. It, a lot of times, don't look at me. <laughs> men and women, our brains do not function, yeah. right? Because we don't think about marriage because we don't we don't see it anymore, mm. right? Not, not so, wholesome marriage. Not wholesome marriage. Mm. You know, um, you know, some people see some wholesome marriage, mm. uh, it uh, but not a wholesome marriage. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. I mean, you know, you got Black China out there, and, no, uh, no. Tiny and Ti. I mean, that's what they're looking at right now. <laughs> but that's another story. No, <laughs> brothers, remember. beware. You do not want to become a meme. Do not. Do not. <laughs> and Isis. Um, what would you say women who think that they got it popping? I yeah. I mean, like, I look good, so I'm worthy of a ring. You know, he going to go to Jared's for me. Yeah. Because, I mean, look at my curves. Yeah. <laughs> so the women that think they're ring worthy just because of their looks, what do you say to them? Looks won't get you very far. Mm. You know, it's all about the substance. Yes. Um, that a woman possesses. So for me, you know, you know, you can look nice, but you have to be humble. You have mm. to, um, like you have to, Lamar like you said earlier, be mm-hmm. whole. Mm-hmm. And so honestly, I would just say, you know, find what is the matter that that you know I guess fills you up. Mm. Because if you can, you can look good, but you know, you may not be feeling good about yourself on the inside. So. And beauty I just fades. Say, you know, the substance. Beauty fades. Mm-hmm. Beauty will fade quickly on you. Mm-hmm. You look up one day and look one way and yeah. the Even total opposite surgery, the other way. You got to go get a re- mm-hmm. redone. Now, you know what? I, I want to say something, especially to the women who are out now right now. You know, they're just having fun. That's right. You know, mm-hmm. they're just doing what mm-hmm. they want to do, dressing the way they want to dress. You know, right now, it's just all about what I want to do. I yeah. want to have fun. Yeah. The downfall to that is, is out there while you having fun and doing all this stuff, you know in your mind that mm-hmm. you're just having fun, but the men that are looking at you. Look at you just as fun. That, that, come on. You're just fun. You're just, you're fun. just fun. You're not, a, you're not a serious 
moment in our lives. You're not a serious moment. And, you know, um, there's a quote that John Gray said, and I hope I don't butcher it. Um, RJ, can you pull up that quote that um, it's the black and gold quote because I don't have time to be butchering <laughs> any quotes. Not, not past the but he talks about, you know, you're not a wife. You know, once I find you, you're already a wife. You're mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. in that mode. Yeah. You're not just playing around and pretending like you know you're ready for something. You're already it's there like, in that's that right. space. Halloween, you got if you're dressing a certain part. Mm -hmm. If you dress as Absolutely. a hooker, people are gonna treat you like a hooker. That's right. But if you dress as someone that's professional and things like that, or qualified they'll treat you with that different that's respect. right so if you're thinking i'm just having fun this is the way i want to do it right now but you know later on i'll change that's the wrong mindset ladies mm. that is the wrong mindset whatever you're planning on doing you need to do it right now because however he got you that's how he gonna plan on keeping you too yes indeed so what is this whole ring worthy about we asked you know guys what do y'all think ring stands for r-i-n-g mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a few people different responses. People want Tristan, to know. what was your response? What was your uh, ring acronym? Um, uh, what was it? Right now, intimacy, now girl. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like in, a, a in a minute here, once we answer Carl Mays' call, uh, Carl Mays has called in. Um, we'll, we'll explain to you exactly what ring stands for. But mm -hmm. Carl Mays, King, King Motivator. King Motivator. Up, everybody? It's What's good to on? hear What's from you, bro. Shout out to you guys, man. Listen, um, man, uh, yeah, great topic, y'all. And uh, I, I think... You know, even even what you guys have, have shared has been, you know, huge because I think that that there's such a misconception, you know, with with television. There's a misconception with what we feel like we like. Like I think people don't really um, uh, attack or or truly go after what's truly for them. I think they go after what other people think is for them. That's good. And I think and I, and I think that's a that's a that's a huge uh, problem because what happens is it, it, it actually highlights the insecurity in those people because when people start to live for other people like they live for their mothers they live for their, their brothers and sisters or what they feel like everybody has said mm -hmm. this is you know who I see you with this is what you look like you know I think we, you and I you guys and I were discussing the other night with my wife we were talking about how people always walk up to you and say oh man y'all look good together what mm. y'all cute together <laughs> you know that that misconception is scary because. Sometimes what for you might not come in the in the look and the shape of what you know everybody sees That's you know right. you with. Absolutely. And when you love who you love and when you like who you like and when when something works for you, you know you got to get past the shallow aspect. Absolutely. And see that, that you know what I'm saying because because a lot of people, deeper. man, and, yeah, you got to dig deeper. And a lot of people miss their blessings mm -hmm. because they're chasing what they think either edifies them or gives them some sort of some sort of credibility. Hmm. You know, uh, you know, and I, and I think that that's that's why people chase. You know, one of the things I was looking at, I don't know if you got a chance to do this research, but um, how marriage has has increased over the last you know ten years, based on a 20, uh, 2015 census report. However, uh, divorce has also increased yeah. by yeah. about like four percent. So that's a, that's a weird thing to think about, you know, yes. because. If, if divorce has increased and, and marriages have increased, people have, uh, have actually moved into a realm of where um, marriage has become stylish. That's it. Mm -hmm. that people, that's it. People do it just to be doing it because they feel like that's what they should be doing at that time. That is so Something good. To mark off their checklist. That is so good. And everybody else is doing it. So, you know, right. what's wrong with me? I need to get it together and do it, they too. They're doing it on TV. That's exactly right. Call all the real housewives you know getting married. Mm -hmm. That's right. But they all divorced, too. <laughs> Go figure that. <laughs> I appreciate you calling in on that one and making that point. That's so true. We see that all the time, all the time. And then they end up miserable and divorced. Um, you know, that quote that I wanted to share with you guys, if you walk like a wife, mm. your husband will find you. But if you walk like a girlfriend, boys will play with you. Mm. That's from Pastor John Gray himself. Mm. And he couldn't have said that any better. <laughs> Nobody Anybody. Be Nobody That's exactly be what it is. Whatever you're planning on getting out there, you better be representing it. So, T, let's talk mm. about what this whole ring-worthy thing means. Let me tell the gentleman. <laughs> gentlemen, take, pull your notepads out, <laughs> your, your iPhones, your, your iPad. Here are the fundamental qualities you want to have before you start planning for marriage to make yourself ring-worthy. Are respectful. Mm -hmm. Do people respect you and do you respect women? Because it has to go both ways, right? Nobody, No woman wants... A man that isn't respected in the streets, right? That's right. Because it's going to be hard for you to garnish that respect at home. That's right. But more importantly, you have to respect your woman mm -hmm. because this is a lifelong partnership. And so if you start the foundation without that respect, you already have a crack. That's and right. we all know what happens when you have a crack in your foundation. Things eventually begin to crumble. 
And T, can I add to that? Women, the, also, be on the lookout to see how this man responds to, to authority. Does he mm -hmm. respect authority? Mm -hmm. Does he respect his boss on the job? Does he respect, you know, the police? All, all these things are so, so important. While you may be thinking they're not, mm -hmm. they play a very, very big part. And what's his ego like? What's his ego? What's his ego like as well? All of that's in there. Secondly, I, intentional. So is this man intentional, or gentlemen, be intentional about the love that you have for your spouse. Make sure that you're working hard. Um, like Landon said, working hard to take that trash out, remove the impurities so you can be more of a pure asset or precious metal um, to join that union together. And also, be intentional about your purpose. Yes. Yeah. You know, when God made Adam and Eve, you know, he brought Eve in to help the man with his purpose. His purpose was to be, you know, over the land. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have any purpose, how are we going to come in and help you? Yeah. You know, be intentional about your business, your purpose, yeah. your vision. And then making sure that you're working hard to keep that relationship growing and thriving That's good. and nourished. Like that. And then in is noble. Gentlemen, you must be noble. So what that means is you have to be honorable. Someone is going to be not out of those streets, sewing your trash all in the seats. you got to make sure that you're taking care of home, that you're honest, you have integrity, right. and that you're showing that as a leader to your wife because what, what they see is what they emulate. So if you're, you have those good characteristics, that integrity, that matures the relationship. It does. It does. Yeah. And last but certainly not least. Mm, G. <clears throat> godly. Men, you got to be godly. Like I said in previous episodes, that relationship with God is that thread that keeps the material together, the fabric of your relationship. Without him, you're just worldly. And if you're worldly, then you end up having a secular relationship and we all know that how that can end up. Yeah. You want something that's based on principles um, that are tried and true, and that way you can lead your family down the line. Right. And that doesn't mean that you can't have fun. Mm, a lot right. of times people think, you know, if you're godly, oh, my gosh, yeah. you got to be in church every day. And pray if you're married, it's okay day. for your wife to twerk on you. Oh, no. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to listen to trap music together. I mean, do what you Pretty do. You know, enjoy your music. relationship. But at the same time, those fundamental principles, like Tristan said, mm -hmm. that's going to be the key. That's going to be the fabric to your relationship. Indeed. So respectful, intentional, noble, and godly. Now, ladies, here are the fundamental qualities you want to have before uh -oh. you start planning for marriage. Take notes, ladies. R, you want to be realistic. Mm. I think in today's society, that's something that we're lacking. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And like you wow. said, Landon said, you know, this media, I don't know what's giving us all these false notions about things. Sometimes it's our family. Mama giving us the wrong it information. Mama. Media giving us the wrong information. We just find the wrong information all over the place. But let's be realistic. And what we mean by realistic is, you know, whatever it is that you have in your mind, these preconceived notions about what marriage is, really take the time to get an understanding of what it truly is. Yeah. Get with people who have sound wisdom and sound understanding. Wis uh, marriage is not perfect. Right. Marriage is not meant to make you whole and complete. So all these things that you think marriage is, make sure that you get a very realistic and clear understanding. And it's about evolution. You evolve together. So That's you can't good. expect someone to come perfect because you're still not perfect. It's good. So be realistic about that. Be realistic and do not go into there thinking, oh, if we argue and that must mean we're not compatible, so we need to be done. Mm, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Not realistic so first one, get realistic. I, inspiring. Mm, we need so, it. So, yes. Landon, I'm glad you said that. Inspiring goes right along with being a helpmate. You got to be someone who understands how to feed into your man, how to pour into your husband, how to keep it going even when things get rough because they will they get rough get rough sometimes. it's real in the field and non-confrontational i don't need to say any more about Ooh, that that's you should substitute that with nagging nagging mm -hmm. non-confrontational <laughs> you know we think it's cute today to be that way it is not cute i'm yeah. gonna leave it at that it's never been cute ladies gee <laughs> <laughs> giving Ooh, as women we are born to be nurturers and to pour out and to give mm -hmm. if you ever men run into a woman who is not giving and pouring out mm. <laughs> Run. That's the one you want to run from, straight run. up, because it's our nature right. to be givers and to pour out. So if that ain't what she's giving, you need to go in the opposite direction. Doesn't the Bible say it'd be better to be in a cold corner of the house? On a rooftop. On a rooftop than to be with a woman that is not loving and that's kind. It. That's it. So. That's it. And we got a few men living on the rooftop. Yeah, that's <laughs> So we're getting ready to go to commercial break. We want to hear from you. Like, share, follow Tristan and Cece. And please stick around because up next, we have a very special guy out here who's going to be telling you about a fun activity that will not only help your health, mm. but it might just help your love life too. Mm. We'll be right back. Stick around. Ready for that. Welcome to Money Making Conversations, the incredible...
give love to Adam. Come on out there, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself. Come on now. Uh, Marcus D. Wiley and A.V. We are back together. Full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. Yeah. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Hello, my name is Les Brown, and I want to invite you to join me on KYND Monday from 9 o'clock until 10. It's radio that is designed to help you to live your dreams rather than your fears. A lot of people are talking about what's going on in the White House. I say focus on what's going on in your house. We're going to teach you how to begin to overcome your fears, how to identify the goals that you want to achieve and make them happen, and how to begin to get negative, toxic people out of your life. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Listen to me Monday from 9 o'clock until 10 on KYND. You have something special. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hi, my name is Tiffany Smith and I'm a certified spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. But more importantly, I am a wife and a mother. I am so excited to begin the next chapter of my journey, my new radio talk show, The Journey with Tiffany Smith on KYND 1520 AM. That's right, Tribe. You can tune in every Monday from 1 to 2 p.m. starting July 24. My new show will include conversations about manifesting your dreams, celebrity interviews, and also, I've created some new tools to support you in changing your life. If you're ready to change your life, baby, you got to change your mind. Join the journey with Tiffany Smith, and let's talk about it. For actress, radio host, and mother, please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out there, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, talk about. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live. Myself, come on now, uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV. We are back together, full force. We are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look at the air everywhere, everywhere. The powerful 1520. Hey, we want to welcome you back to Sitting with the Suttons. We are your hosts, Cece and Tristan. And we just wrapped up an awesome segment with um, talking to Landon and Isis about becoming ring worthy. But now we would like to introduce a very special gentleman in our community named Jay Owens right here. Jay, Jay Owens. <laughs> Is the founder of an organization called Flow Motion, and Flow Motion does a dance that's called Houston Two Step. And in a minute here, we're going to share with you a little bit more about Houston Two Step because I know a lot of you all have no idea what Houston Two Step is. All I can tell you is, is if your granny was going to the Red Rooster and cutting up back then, she mm. might have just been out there doing a little Houston Two Step. I mean, cutting a red. <laughs> but in a minute here, before we get to talking to Jay, I'd like to uh, show the Fox 26 interview. Um, that we recently did. I believe that was last year. Was that about yeah. last year now? Year before. Year before. It's been almost years. That went by fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this uh, video will introduce to you Houston Two Step. We're here at the legendary El Dorado Ballroom. It was built back in the 1930s. It was built in order to facilitate uh, African-American artists and dancers um, during that period because, of course, of segregation. It allowed us to have a nice venue. So you had a lot of your greats from Ella um, to Aretha to James Brown to, I mean, all of your greats right here at the El Dorado Ballroom. It's beautiful. I mean, Houston has a lot of uh, rich culture and history that uh, a lot of people don't know about and part of what we're doing is to bring that back uh, to the forefront. You know as far as what we do, Houston Two-Step, 
it was a dance that um, this uh, ballroom facilitated. It, it is unique to Houston. It was, you know, started here in Houston, which makes it so beautiful. Um, you know, just the resurgence in trying to bring it back. A lot of people have no clue what it is. It's a dance, it's a partner's dance that's done uh, primarily to R&B, soul, and of course, in my generation, hip hop. You break it down to where it's very simplified. It's 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 a set pattern, so you're not necessarily just doing a freeform thing. But once you learn that set pattern, then you can start to kind of you know meld it together on your own. It's Houston Two Step is a Houston dance that is. Uh, available for anybody to learn, you know, and anybody to enjoy, you know, and that's that's the whole objective, that's the whole goal, is to maintain that part of our culture. Even if you have two left feet, it doesn't matter. As long as you can walk and you can count, you can do this dance. It's from, you know, 8 to 80, it doesn't matter, you know, just come on out and, and dance and enjoy yourself. I love that. So welcome again, Jay, to sitting with the Suttons. We are really excited Indeed. to have you. Thanks. We're cool. glad to have you here tonight. So share with us about Flow Motion. How long it's been around? A number of members, different chapters in the vision, and even the future of it. It's a great organization. Um, Flow Motion was established back in 2009. I actually established uh, our Baton Rouge and our Houston uh, chapter hmm. simultaneously. The boot. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> and. Um, I couldn't tell you how many members uh, over the course of this eight years. Um, it's Hundreds. a lot. Yeah. Yes, it's a lot. Yeah. So, uh, but um, primarily when I got into it, you know, um, it was it was kind of a dying art, hmm. and um, be primarily because it, it was mostly old school. Yeah. And like a lot of our culture, you know, it requires that next generation to pick it up and yeah. keep it going. Absolutely. And we weren't doing it. Yeah. And uh, so I just kind of felt like, well. I'm going to do my part. You took the mantle. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that I do is I encourage other people to, you know, get involved. And, yeah. and, and I, I try to, to uplift other dancers to, to do, do well and, and be able to contribute. Yeah, yeah. So we know that you have the adult component, but we know you have a passion for kids. So talk to us about flow motion and the children. Now, what we did about a year ago, we established a uh, five, we're 501c3. Amen. And uh, what we're in the process now of doing, we've, uh, design. We have a curriculum and everything uh, set up, and now we're in the process of planning our uh, startup on our youth pro uh, program. Good stuff, man. Giving back to the community. Yes, sir. Got to. The next generation. We're not going to fail them. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we're not going to fail them. And as you heard in the video, you know, this is a dance that started all the way back in the 1930s. I mean, yeah. that's been a minute ago. That means right here in Houston, we have had this dance in our community. And what I think is so beautiful about it is that you have the passion to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to bring this back. Because a lot of times what happens is we lose very big pieces of our culture, and then uh, other absolutely. cultures yeah. pick them up. Uh, a lot. And you see it all the time. I mean, you watch YouTube, your, 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 your coldest uh, break dancers is in China. Yeah. That's <laughs> you know, true. it used to be, you know, in America. But, I mean, all of, a lot of our culture, yeah. we drop it. We don't value it. And yeah. that's the problem. We don't value what we do. We don't believe that we can do things with excellence. Yeah, right. and, and we created and, a lot of stuff. And and that's one of the things that I decided that whatever we do, we're going to do it with excellence. Yes. Um, and just as an organization, I already know that some people are not going to like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And for those that don't like it, you know, um, they can stay where they are. They go stay but, but what we're trying to do <laughs> is uplift our, uplift, uplift our, our people and uh, – right you know, really promote our dance and yeah. maintain it and keep it within our community yeah. and take it to another level, continue to take it to another level because we have to respect and um, value what we do. So speaking of community, tell us why dancing is a great activity for single people, married couples, and even families with children to get involved with and what benefits do they get out of it? Well, health-wise, of course, you're moving. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like playing basketball when you was younger, you yeah. know. You were just having fun, not really thinking about, the, the, yeah. the exercise that you're getting. And when you're dancing, it's the same concept. Yep. Um, everybody likes to dance. So you, you, you have a lot of couples out there. I've had couples come to my class um, that would say, well, you know, we're using this as a tool to strengthen our relationship, something mm. that we can do together. Yeah. You know, and um, that's cool. You know, it has, it, it has that component yeah. to it. But also as a single person myself, yeah. 
you know, it allows you to network and meet a lot of different people. Oh, that's what we call it. We and, call it uh, a network. And network. Oh, no. Can you no. network on the dance floor? <laughs> we no. network. No. no. Everybody ain't there to win. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it might be a good place to get shows. I'm just it saying. Is. You see who got rhythm, how they move. I'm just saying. <laughs> If that's, Some people do get chose. Well, if that's their purpose, yeah, that's that's cool. But I mean, you know, my my purpose is is really to to grow and expand this dance. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. that's really my focus, and that and that that comes first for me. That's yes, good. I understand. So out here, um, I know that we're getting ready to come up on a new class, a new beginners class. Tell us a little bit about that new beginners class and where people can go to. Um, our new beginners class uh, starts on the eighth. Well, actually, we receive students on the 8th and on the 15th. Um, the way we do it is we accept students on those two days, and after those two days, we close the class. Hmm. Um, I close the class so that I can really focus on those people that are there, and we don't have people coming in and out. Gotcha. And, you know, and you, you perform and you learn better under structure. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's structure. human nature. So, you know, I, I try to make sure that I, I bring those elements into what we do as far as making sure we have a structured curriculum, we have a structured class. You're not being disturbed by people coming in and out, and it, it allows us to uh, excel. And, again, back to what I was saying, do what we do with excellence. Absolutely. Now we got a question from Facebook. Lolita Dixon, do you need a partner if you're single, or can you come along? You can come along. It's plenty of guys like myself that are single. There's, a, there's plenty of people that are married. Um, most married couples, when they come, you know, it's a, it's a social. Mm -hmm. So... Everybody dances with everybody. That's yeah. it. That's it. Every, everybody dances with everybody. So mm -hmm. it's not a situation to where it's like, you know, well, what are you doing dancing with my wife? What are you doing dancing yeah. with my husband? Yeah. It's a social. It's a yeah. dance social. And now, that's the beautiful thing about our dance community, too. We're getting ready to go to a commercial break, but when we come back, I'm going to let Jay wrap up his thoughts on Flow Motion. And we also really want to invite you out this Saturday coming up. It will be at the Shape Community Center at 10 a.m. That's when our new beginners class will start. We'll be right back with Jay Owens with Flow Motion Houston. Like, share, and follow. Hi, my name is Tiffany Smith, and I'm a certified spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. But more importantly, I am a wife and a mother. I am so excited to begin the next chapter of my journey, my new radio talk show, The Journey with Tiffany Smith, on KYND 1520 AM. That's right, Tribe. You can tune in every Monday from 1 to 2 p.m. starting July 24th. My new show will include conversations about manifesting your dreams, celebrity interviews, and also, I've created some new tools to support you in changing your life. If you're ready to change your life, baby, you got to change your mind. Join the journey with Tiffany Smith, and let's talk about it. It's the actress, radio host, and mother. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, the incredible Yolanda Adams. Come on out there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the KYD radio launch and all that. Yes, Let's talk about it. radio launch uh, next week, July 6th. We are on live myself. Come on now. Uh, Marcus D. Wiley and AV, we are back together. Full force, we are so excited. Can I tell you how excited we are about being at KYND? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this, this right here is like amazing. From South Park to Seti Gas, on the air everywhere. Everywhere. The powerful 1520. Welcome back to your Love Empowerment Hour. You're now sitting with the Suttons, and we are back with our special guest this evening, our small business spotlight, Flow Motion. And here to represent Flow Motion is Jay Owens, the founder of Flow Motion. And we had a few questions that were popping up here, Jay. Uh, people want to know where they can find out more information, and also, um, what's the attire for Saturday? Mm. Um, <clears throat> of course, you can get more information at our website at info at flowmotionhouston.com. That'll be info at F L O dash motion houston.com uh or you can catch me on facebook uh, jay owens um when you come saturday you want to come comfortable don't come dressed up cute like you're going to the club because i'm gonna sweat you out of there uh -uh. <laughs> hair weave killer <laughs> no you want to wear something comfortable you know uh stay away from tennis shoes wear something comfortable um 
preferably a, a leather bottom shoe, something mm-hmm. uh, that you can so you slide, slide or, or pivot in. Exactly, you know, so that you can uh, you can and just come comfortable and come come ready to have some fun and and uh, you know enjoy yourself, learn how to dance. It's a process. Let me let me say this Ooh. early. Ooh. It's a process. You know, oftentimes people will come and they'll see you doing all this stuff, and in their mind, their mind is telling them, "I can do that." And then your body says no. Yo. Mind is telling me no. <laughs> body is saying no. <laughs> yes, obviously all can. But um, but when you get in there, you know, and and you start, uh, uh, I believe in repetition. That's uh, how we naturally learn as human beings. So, um, we do a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition. So, you know, some people learn faster, some people learn slower, but you will learn. Um, <laughs> You know, we don't rush. It's no rush. Yeah. You take mm-hmm. your time and, and just have fun. Be really. patient. That's I mean, it. Just, just come and have fun because, I mean, you know, I believe in making sure that we, we get in our work and, and, and you, you get what you need, you get what you come uh, to get, but also, you know, having fun. I, I like to have fun. Um, I'm probably the biggest goofball in the class. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, yes, he is. Because it ain't fun for me, I'm not going to do it. So <laughs> I, I make sure it's fun for you. Jay, we really want to thank you again. Yes. Um, I have had the pleasure of being a part of Flow Motion now, almost going on four years, and yes. it has truly, it's my second family. It really, really is. Yeah. We travel um, together. We travel together. Yeah. We have yeah. a yeah. lot of fun. I don't even dance when I'm traveling. Right? right? I know, right? Tristan What's my nickname? There? What's my nickname in the dance community? <laughs> Tristan to come out there and do the stanky leg on y'all, and yeah. he will have yeah. a good time with us just the same. And that just goes to show you, you know, even though you may feel like, well, my spouse, you don't really want to dance, if your spouse is still comfortable with you doing it, he can still or she can still mm-hmm. be very much so a part of the dance community. Yeah. This and is one, one thing I, I can say that even though Tristan is not out there, his presence is felt. Yeah, is. And he knows a lot of us. He knows a lot of the guys in the group. And and even though he's not there, he's there. <laughs> Suge Sutton is always around. Yeah, he, he's there. He, Ever he's, present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we always looking out. <laughs> we will look out. Indeed. <laughs> it has been wonderful, Jay. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing all of you. We've had, we're expecting a pretty nice, sizable class. So, again, if you are thinking about coming through, please be sure to RSVP. Go to the website that Jay shared with get you. Get there early. And yeah. get there early. No CPT. No CPT. No. We will be on time. Yes, we will. Well, thank you again, Jay. Um, thank you guys for having me. No problem. Yeah. Pleasure. Sudden okay. small business spotlight. That's it? Yes. Yeah. Small business. Before we move on to our next segment of uh, uh, Sutton's in the City, we will have um, our sponsor spot. Indeed, indeed. So sitting with the Suttons, we would like to thank our first sponsor, Ms. Kyra Hartwick, owner of the Kyra Company. Um, So if you are a small business and you're looking for business development, be sure to get with Kyra. She is a business development um, consultant. If your company is looking for leadership, uh, look no further. The Kyra Company is the place you need to go to increase efficiency, within the infrastructure of your organization, addressing the people, processes, and profitability of your business. So check her out at www.thekyracompany.com. That's K as in kangaroo, Y-R-A, thekyracompany.com. She is a great small business development coach. She will help you grow, get your team together, get your processes organized. Uh, We've implemented her. So thank you, Kyra and the Kyra Company, for sponsoring Sitting with the Suns. If your business would like the advertisement and the branding that comes with their, our show and our um, network, we would love for you to reach out to us at Tristan and CC Sutton at gmail.com or inbox us to be a sponsor with Sitting with the Suttons. Excellent. Well, now moving on to Sutton of the City. As you mm-hmm. know, we are everything that you need. We are your one-stop shop for love, mm-hmm. for business, yeah. for food. Food, foodie socialites. Foodie socialites, small business advocates. advocates yes, yes, indeed. So, where are we in the streets this week? Sutton's in the city. When we, when we riding around and getting it this week, we will be at Phil and Derrick's. We have, they have a nice jazz brunch, live music. So we're going to be stopping by to check them out, uh, make sure that, um, you know, we can um, support them and show our presence as well. But we here is a great establishment for the grown and sexy. Mm. So if you're looking to get your, your, your jazz music on, your go and do on. your two-step on, you know, <laughs> yeah. wear your white linen, <laughs> put some lotion on those ankles, don't be out there that ash and that right. linen. Stop. So, but earlier we uh, this week we visited Holly's um, Black Owned Restaurant. Great food, great service, very professional. Owned by Mark Holly's. Uh, we always get that whole red tie snapper. So if you want your food looking at you, get that red tie snapper. It tastes good. <laughs> Don't be scared of it. Don't it, be scared. it looks scary, but it's Don't good. Don't be scared. So that's um, Suttons in the city. Now we move on to what's hot in these streets this week. So um, coming up, we have. 
three events that Tristan Sutton and CeCe Sutton are going to be hosting. You can come and sit with us. We have West Houston Who's Who. That's our monthly networking mixer on July 18th at the Tasting Room City Center. Then you have Sudden Impact Boss Brunch. Boss Brunch. Boss Brunch. Come brunch with a bunch of our business owners and entrepreneurs. So that's going to be Saturday, July 29th. 12 to 3 p.m. And if I can just add real quickly, because someone did ask, mm -hmm. you do not have to be a current boss. If you're mm -hmm. an aspiring boss, an aspiring yeah. entrepreneur, we encourage you to come out yes. and mingle. Indeed, indeed. And then if you're looking to learn how to use social media to grow your brand, you have Sudden Impact Branding University, August 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we're going to be teaching you how to use Facebook, Instagram, things like that to build a brand that brings business. So a lot of opportunities to see what the Sudden's coming up and enhance your network. So that's what we're all about, so small business advocates. All ships rise. All ships rise. Well, we are coming up on the end of our hour. We, again, want to thank authors Landon and Isis Taylor for joining us tonight in the conversation of becoming ring-worthy. A lot of great insight there. People are like, okay, I got my notes. So I think mm -hmm. people are going to get it together this time. We see a better 2018. Indeed, indeed. And, Jay, we want to thank you again, our Small Business Spotlight with Flow Motion Houston. We look forward to having um, our community come out this Saturday as well as next Saturday for our new members class. And as you know, before we wrap up our hour, we mm -hmm. always like to end the show with our affirmation. Absolutely. So if you will join us in raising your right hand. Yes. Kick us off. I pledge allegiance. No. <laughs> Today I will commit to being a better person than I was yesterday. Today I, will Today, I will commit to being a better person than I was yesterday. Today, I will be open and honest with myself. Today, I will be open and honest with myself. Today, I will be a better communicator. Today, I will be a better communicator. Today, I will rid myself of negative views of dating and marriage. Today, I will rid myself of negative views of dating and marriage. Today, I will do my part in making marriage great again. Today, I will do my part in making marriage great again. We want to thank you so much for sitting with the Suttons. It has been a fun love empowerment hour, and yes, we look indeed. forward to seeing you next Wednesday, same time, same place. Amen. <laughs>